What's going on everyone it's moose here with air guns of michigan and today i want to step it way back a bunch of notches as most of you guys know that follow along with me you know that i've been doing a lot of videos on uh, my maverick um, i've been talking about it a lot i've put out something on the hudson uh, bull boss and i just really want to reel it back in and say hey check this one out because this thing is actually one of my favorite co2 pellet pistols so this is the asg dan wesson 357 magnum this is the six inch barrel version and i'm going to tell you what this gun is simply amazing i have a lot of powder burner friends a ton of power powder burner friends and as they come over because they like to see what I've gotten and now I've had this gun for a while but none of them have seen it sitting in there and said oh nice pellet gun every one of them said dude when did you get a nice revolver and I have to break it to them that it's not a powder burner it is a pellet gun and they are blown away with the realism the weight, and just the overall construction of this gun. It is simply amazing. It is full steel. The grip on it is nice rubber grip. It feels good in your hand. The weight is according. Um, you know, it's just, it's unbelievable. Even looking down the barrel looks real, like really real. Like, I mean, honestly, really real. Um, the hammer is amazing. The trigger is amazing. This is a, um, a revolver that you can get this in BB, but I wanted it in pellet. It is single action as well as dual action or double action. You can pull the trigger with the gun in that fashion. Or as I like to shoot, I like to pull my trigger back because it makes the, or the hammer back, sorry, it makes the trigger just super effortless. Um, there's just no like jumping as far as it's concerned. Um, it does have a adjustable rear sight for elevation as well as windage. And I found that this thing is incredibly accurate at roughly 10 to 15 yards. I have a riot shooting this gun. It is um, just absolutely stunning. I'm telling you, even my wife, and my wife is not anti-gun at all. However, this is her favorite one, and this is the one that she likes to shoot. She doesn't like all my other guns. They're too fancy, too heavy, or they're just not her style. But she loves this gun. So, a couple things I wanted to talk about with this gun is, one, uh, in order to load the CO2, it's very simple. There's a little notch here at the bottom of the handle. You simply just pick it up and move it off, exposing the cylinder area for the CO2. Um, I always recommend, and so does everybody else, so this should be something that you all take quite seriously, Pelagon oil on the tip of your CO2 before you insert it into the gun. Just a simple drop is fine. Um, I um, take my Pelagon oil out of their little tubes that they come in, and I put them in these little bottles because for those of you that have used Pelgon oil in the past, they have a tendency to like to leak. It's a very thin viscosity oil and it will leak out of the cap. So once that's done, you simply insert the CO2 into the, that was my bad, not so simply, <laughs> into the, um, the CO2 area here. Cool thing is, right here into the handle, they actually built in a swinging Allen key. So you can stick your Allen key in the bottom. I like to just get mine to where it's snugged up and then give it a couple of quick turns. Not quick enough, apparently, during this video. <laughs> but now that the CO2 is installed, you simply just take the, the handle cover here with the little latch, stick the little notch in there, 
and close the handle. Gun is now filled with CO2. There are, however, no shells in the gun. So just to show you what it sounds like going off, it's not bad. And it's really not bad once you add some pellets to it. Now, one thing that you are going to want to pay attention to is there are two different types of pellet shells for this gun. I prefer these all brass ones, and I'm going to show you why in a moment here. And what happens is, is right in the back of it, there's a little rubber piece, and you simply just take a single 177 caliber pellet and push it into the back of the, um, the casing. The other kind that you can get for this gun is kind of cool looking. It does have a different colored cap, so it almost looks like it's lead, but they do not load in the back. You actually have to unscrew these, exposing the cap from the cartridge, and then you seat a pellet and then screw it back together. This does become extremely laborious and it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, man, I really wish there was a simpler way to do it. And there is. Buy the all brass ones for pellet. They make these all brass as well for BBs. I wouldn't recommend shooting BBs through this. Not because I think it's going to ruin the rifling in the barrel. Yes, there is rifling in the barrel. But the reason that I suggest not doing that is because... Pellets travel much better out of this gun than BBs. Ask me how I know. Because I tried it. I'm trying to give you guys all the info. So, to load this gun, it's very simple. There's a little latch on the side here. You simply pull the latch, push the cylinder out, and now you have access to your full cylinder. You go ahead and load your shells in. These are all loaded. Go ahead and close your action. Make sure the safety is on. The safety is located right here above the handle. When you push it forward, it will not allow the gun to cock or fire. No, it will not allow it. So, before we get any further, I am going to put on my shooting glasses because safety first and I don't want to lose an eye. Um, I do have my FX chronograph here and I'm going to see if we can actually get this chronograph to read pellet velocity. Give me just one second here. I'm going to start my FX map. And we're going to pick a new profile. And we're going to go in and tell it that we are running a CO2 air pistol. Which should give us between 195 and 590 feet per second. I think that that's just about right. These are 7.4 grain. 177 caliber. Crossman premieres and they are target pellets and we're going to go here and we're going to go here and connect and we should be able to hear what these pellets are shooting at. I'm going to go ahead and remove the safety and let's see if we can get a reading. 315 feet per second with 1.6 foot pounds of energy. Try again. 322. 322. 312. 312. 314. 314. 326. 326. And the last shot. 311. 311. So, not too bad. I mean, honestly, for a CO2, you know, pistol, I mean, it's not bad. Now, all these are empty. Cool thing is, most of these things come with a speed loader. Drop in your rounds, push the button, guess what? Reloaded, ready to go. Now, since we've already talked about the velocity, I'm not going to get too involved in more shooting at this particular point. But I do want to talk about a couple of things. We shot a six-shot group. Uh, standard deviation was 5.5. We had a low velocity of 311, a high velocity of 326, 
and an average of 317 with a spread of 15 um, feet per second. So, like I said, not too shabby. 1.6 foot-pounds of energy. It's perfect for backyard plinking or just enjoying, you know, a little bit of target shooting. I use it in my basement here. I have about 10 meters, maybe 12 if I really stretch it. And honestly, I just enjoy sitting back and shooting it. Um, I would highly recommend, honestly, this gun to just about anybody who was into the replica guns. Um, I know a lot of us are into the semi-automatic styles, and I have a lot of those as well. And I will be doing some reviews on those coming up as well. But, honestly, in a revolver, I love this gun. I think it is absolutely outstanding. I think the accuracy is incredibly good. And they actually make a mount where you can mount a Picatinny um, scope to this. Um, a scope mount um, that connects to the gun. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this part of the barrel here is actually capable of dovetails. I have not tried it because, I don't know, there's just something to be said about using iron sights, even in my old age at, you know, 12 foot pound, or I mean at 12 yards or less. And, uh, you know, I just think it's kind of cool to do. So there it is. There you have it. This is the ASG Dan Wesson 357 Magnum in the 6-inch barrel. And I could not highly recommend this any more highly than I already am. Go out and get you one. I promise you're going to love it. And if you don't, well, I'm sorry. Because you should. <laughs> All right. Listen. I'm Moose. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Air Guns of Michigan. And we'll catch you guys all next time right here. Take care.